Everyone present to please rise and repeat with me the Pledge of Allegiance. In the absence of clergy, may we please bow our heads for a moment of silence. <laughs> Reading of the journal. To the Senate Friday, May 9th, the Senate pursuant to adjournment. The journal of Thursday, May 8th, was read and approved on motion. Senate adjourned. Without objection, the journal stands approved as read. Presentation of petitions. Messages from the Assembly. Secretary will read. On page 19, Senator Martinson was discharged from the Committee on Local Government Assembly Bill Number 8320B and substitute the identical Senate Bill Number 6424B, 30 and calendar 125. On page 28, Senator Martins moved to discharge from the Committee on Local Government Assembly Bill Number 9001 and substitute the identical Senate Bill Number 6744A, third reading calendar 316. On page 32, Senator Flanagan moves to discharge from the Committee on Education, Assembly Bill Number 9062A, and substitute the identical Senate Bill Number 6955, third reading calendar 399. On page 34, Senator Bonasek moves to discharge from the Committee on Judiciary, Assembly Bill Number 9075, and substitute the identical Senate Bill Number 5073, third reading calendar 423. On page 37, Senator Martins moved to discharge from the Committee on Local Government, Assembly Bill Number 9032 and substitute the identical Senate Bill number 6989 in calendar 453. Substitutions ordered. Messages from the Governor. Reports of standing committees. Reports of select committees. Communications and reports from state officers. Motions, motions and resolutions. Senator Libis. Thank you. On behalf of Senator Maziers, I wish to call up his bill. Senate print 6231 recalled from the Assembly and is now at the desk. Secretary will read. Calendar number 200 by Senator Maziar, Senate Print 6231, and I commend the corrections law. Mr. President, I now move to reconsider the vote by which this bill was passed. Call the roll on reconsideration. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelis, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin, Ayes 48. And I offer up the following amendments. Uh, the amendments are accepted. Mr. President. Senator Libis. I believe. Um, Senator Laval has a previously adopted resolution at the desk, and its number is 3974. Could we please have that resolution read in its entirety? And if the, once it's read, if you could please call on Senator Laval. Secretary will read. Legislative resolution number 3974 by Senator Laval, honoring the Rocky Point High School varsity cheerleading team upon the occasion of winning the Universal Cheerleaders Association's 2014 National Championship. Whereas, athletic competition enhances the moral and physical development of the young people of this state, preparing them for the future by instilling in them the value of teamwork, encouraging a standard of healthy living, imparting a desire for success, and developing a sense of fair play and competition. And whereas, this legislative body is moved to honor the Rocky Point High School varsity cheerleading team upon the occasion of winning the Universal Cheerleaders Association National Championship in the medium varsity division in Orlando, Florida on February 12th and 13th, 2014. And whereas the Rocky Point High School varsity cheerleading team has once again taken first place against some of the best teams in this country, winning their third national title in the past four years. And whereas after securing the highest score in the preliminaries, Rocky Point advanced straight to the final round of competition where they earned a personal best score at the Universal Cheerleaders Association competition. Additionally, the team was awarded perfect scores in a number of other categories. And whereas the athletic talent displayed by the team is due in great part to the efforts of Coach Anna Spolina and Assistant Coach Amanda Lang, skilled and inspirational tutors respected for their ability to develop potential into excellence. And whereas loyally and enthusiastically supported by family, fans, friends, and the community at large, Rocky Point varsity cheerleading team have proven themselves to be an unbeatable combination of of athletic academic talents reflecting favorably on their community. And whereas it is the sense of this legislative body that when young people who represent their community with pride and determination while participating in competitive sports are brought to our attention, they should be celebrated and recognized by all citizens of the great state. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that this legislative body pauses deliberations to honor the Rocky Point High School varsity cheerleading members Giordana Campo, Caitlin Craig, Samantha Ferrara, Courtney Flood, Ashley Goldstein, Jordan Gonzalez, Claire Johannesson, Courtney Kelly, Jacqueline Lang, Emily Longagro, Shiana Maffe, Megan McCarthy, Caitlin McDonald, Kelly Morgan, Nikki Nosaforo, Emily O'Connor, Danielle Ortolani, Athena Papacristos, Brittany Ray, Dana San Vitali, Natalie Shapiro, and Corinne Auding, coaches Anna Spalina and Amanda Lang, upon the occasion of winning the national championship in the Universal Cheerleaders Association's medium varsity division, and be it further resolved that copies of this resolution suitably engrossed be transmitted to the Rocky Point High School varsity cheerleading team and coach Anna Spalina. Senator Laval. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, some of you may have remembered because, um, as the resolution indicated, Rocky Point cheerleaders have won this national recognition three out of the last four years. National champions three out of four years. That's incredible. Um, obviously, great skill and inspiration was given to each of the young women by Coach Spolina and Coach Lang. And so um, we are very proud of you. Uh, certainly, all the folks in Rocky Point, it's a very um, close community. Uh, and uh, certainly, Rocky Point and all the people in the first senatorial district are very, very proud of your accomplishments three out of the last four years. Congratulations. This resolution was previously adopted on March 18th of 2014. Congratulations, Rocky Point cheerleaders. Thank you for being here and congratulations. Senator Laval, I mean, Senator Lewis. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I believe Senator Laval has another previously adopted resolution, 3975. 3975. If we could please read that in its entirety and call on Senator Laval. Secretary will read. Legislative resolution number 3975 by Senator Laval. Honoring the Mount Sinai High School varsity cheerleading team upon the occasion of winning the Universal Cheerleaders Association's 2014 National Championship. Whereas athletic competition enhances the moral and physical development of the young people of this state, preparing them for the future by instilling in the value of teamwork, encouraging a standard of healthy living, imparting a desire for success, and developing a sense of fair play and competition. And whereas this legislative body has moved to honor the Mount Sinai High School varsity cheerleading team find the occasion of winning the Universal Cheerleaders Association's National Championship in the large Varsity Division II in Orlando, Florida on February 12th and 13, 2014. And whereas, the Mount Sinai Varsity Cheerleading Team took first place against some of the best teams in the country and won the first cheerleading national title in school history. And whereas, the athletic talent displayed by this team is due in great part to the efforts of Coach Samantha Malella a skilled and inspirational tutor, respected for her ability to develop potential into excellence. Whereas loyally and enthusiastically supported by family, fans, friends, and the community at large, the Mount Sinai Varsity Cheerleading Team have proven themselves to be an unbeatable combination of athletic and academic talents, reflecting favorably on their community. And whereas it is the sense of this legislative body that when young people who represent their community with pride and determination while participating in competitive sports are brought to our attention, they should be celebrated and recognized by all citizens of this great state. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this legislative body pause its deliberations to honor the Mount Sinai High School varsity cheerleading team, its members, Brittany Ankleman, Kristen Freya, Chloe Shields, Stephanie Ankleman, Victoria Harmon, Alexa Cinarelli, Tina Batin Batinovic, Samantha Colmer, Emily Spagnolo, Taylor Kochi Jarash, Arden Lora, Amanda Spalletti, Gabriella Custodio,
Jordan Mazzullo, Catherine Tofik, Alexa Diamond, Kaylee Orlando, Casey Wozolowski, Samantha Feeney, Amanda Rose, Cassidy Wozolowski, Charlotte Fiordalisi, Daniel Ronfolo, and Cassandra Wilson, and Coach Samantha Malella, upon the occasion of winning the national championship in the Universal Cheerleaders Association's large varsity Division II, and be it further resolved that copies of this resolution suitably engrossed be transmitted to Mount Sinai High School varsity and cheerleading team and coach Samantha Malella. Senator Laval. Certainly, um, I'm equally as proud of the Mount Sinai cheerleading team. Um, there is a state highway, Route 25A, and um, the two high schools are about two miles away from one another. So within a two-mile distance, we have national cheerleading champions. Um, Coach Malala, this is your first championship, and uh, you can keep going. You can win a second and a third, and keep going on. Um, it is a great, great achievement for the Mount Sinai High School and the Mount Sinai community. Um, my district office is in Mount Sinai, so I am very proud of uh, Mount Sinai winning this, uh, this championship and having two high schools, Rocky Point and uh, Mount Sinai, uh, is a great, great pride. Um, I would say my buttons are popping, but it would be inappropriate on the Senate floor to have buttons popping. So uh, once again, congratulations, uh, Coach Malala. Good building, a good skill set and inspiration also uh, got you to the, uh, and your team to the national championship. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mount Sinai cheerleaders. This resolution was previously adopted on March 18, 2014. Senator Libis. President, could you send a call on Senator Gallivan for the purposes of announcement? Senator Gallivan. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I rise to welcome several individuals to the chamber, Austin Wadsworth, Don Shabel, and Elena Man Mancuso, they're from the National Airplane Museum, which is located in Geneseo, New York, of course, in the 59th Senate District. The National Warplane, Warplane Museum is dedicated to the restoration, preservation, display, and flight of aircraft of the World War II and Korean War eras, as well as the recognition of all of the United States military personnel for their service and sacrifice. At the invitation of the French government, the National, the National Airplane Museum in Geneseo, National Warplane Museum, rather, in Geneseo, was invited to participate in the 70th anniversary of the commemoration of D-Day, which many of you remember took place June 6, 1944. It began the start of the Battle of Normandy, resulted in the Allied liberation of Western Europe from Nazi Germany's control. Over 156,000 American, British, and Canadian forces landed on five beaches along a 50-mile stretch of the heavily fortified coast of France's Normandy region. By late August of that year, all of northern France had been liberated. By the following spring, the Allies had defeated the Germans. The National Warplane Museum houses and owns a 1943 Douglas C-47A Dakota. It's known as Whiskey 7. This was the lead ship back in 1944 of the 37th Troop Carrier Squadron, which dropped elements of the 82nd Airborne Division near St. Mary Glees, 
France in the early hours of June 6. The National Warplane Museum will be flying an original mission. They will commemorate, they will participate in the commem commemoration by dropping members of the Liberty Jump Team over the original D-Day drop zones in France. Now, unfortunately, those that jumped out of the plane will not be jumping again. Um, I believe that there is only one survivor of that original team that landed in France back in 1944. That's a gentleman named Leslie Cruz from, from Pennsylvania, one of the original 21 members who will participate in the celebration in Normandy. He raised the American flag in France in 1944. Once again, this June, in the 70th commemoration, he'll proudly raise the stars and stripes during the observance ceremony at the Iron Mike Monument in France. This occasion presents a unique opportunity for our body to remember, <laughs> honor, and pay tribute to the men and women who so courageously and hero heroically served in the armed forces of the United States during the D-Day invasion. You might be thinking to yourself, why are we not doing this on June 6th, or why am I not doing this on June 6th? Whiskey 7 will be taking off this Thursday on its mission uh, to head to numerous, numerous areas, but ultimately landing in France as part of the commemoration ceremony. At that time, um, I will be making seven, several presentations as I see them off. I'd like to thank my colleague, Senator Zeldin, who, who has helped out with this, helped to secure a New York State flag that has flown over the state capitol this session, which we will be presenting on Thursday. They ultimately will be presenting that flag on our behalf to the, the appropriate officials in France. And I would ask everybody uh, just to remember all those who had served. I would like to recognize Austin Wadsworth, the president of the National War Plane Museum, whose family is very unique in that a member of the Wadsworth family has served in every single conflict that the United States has been in, dating back to the pre-Revolutionary War. So everyone from the pre-Revolutionary War, Revolutionary War, all the way up to the conflicts that we are in today, the Wadsworth family has been represented in standing up for the United States of America. So I thank you, Austin. I thank you, Don and Elena, for giving us the honor of being here today and being able to thank you for what you do and wish you the best of luck on your mission. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Gallivan. Senator Zeldin. Whiskey 7 uh, may be based in Geneseo, but uh, was housed in the 3rd Senate District, the Isla MacArthur Airport, getting uh, all the tools it needs to make this flight uh, overseas. And uh, when we said goodbye to Whiskey 7, we had a uh, ceremony at Isla MacArthur Airport uh, and uh, had an opportunity to take a walk onto the plane, think of all the memories, the service, uh, and I think the spirit of New Yorkers and certainly Long Islanders and our veterans community will be with Whiskey 7 during this flight overseas. Uh, the great sacrifice of those 82nd Airborne Division paratroopers in World War II uh, with an unknown fate as they, uh, they traveled over the skies of Normandy. Everything that they were willing to sacrifice in defense of everything that makes our nation great. Uh, some paid the ultimate sacrifice and, and, and still won. Leslie's still alive today. Um, but we want to say thank you to everyone who flew on Whiskey 7 to protect everything that makes our nation great. And uh, we want to present to you with a flag, as Senator Gallivan mentioned, uh, which flew over the state capitol so you could bring us with you on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Zeldin. Senator Young.
Thank you, Mr. President. I, too, wish to speak on this resolution. Right now, every two minutes, we lose a World War II veteran who passes away. That totals about 555 people per day. And every time one of those courageous veterans passes away, we lose a piece of history. We lose someone who could tell about the sights and the sounds, the horrors and the victories of World War II. And that's why it's so incredibly important that we preserve that history. And this journey of Whiskey 7 that is being embarked upon is an incredibly important time as far as preservation. I want to commend Austin Wadsworth, who is here today, and I echo Senator Gall Gallivan's comments because I've known the Wadsworth family really since I've been born. And they are a family that is part of the fabric of Livingston County, but at the same time, that family has had a profound impact on the history of New York State and the history of the United States, and we're grateful for that. So I want to thank Austin for coming. Uh, thank you for taking on this challenge. He has a passion for aircraft, and he has a passion for history. And combining those together is a unique experience that many people will learn from as we go forward. So thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Young. Senator Gennaris for an announcement. Thank you, Mr. President. On, on another subject, while we're doing announcements, I thought it was important to note that we have a new grandfather in our midst uh, today. And uh, for anyone that wants to see a picture, uh, Granddad is proudly showing it to all who want. That's Senator Libus, uh, Deputy Majority Leader and Floor Leader here. I believe the baby's name is Campbell. Congratulations to him. <laughs> Congratulations, Senator Libis. Senator Libis. And I'm still smiling, Mr. President, from ear to ear. Uh, can we go back to motions? Motions and resolutions. On behalf of Senator Zeldin, on page 37, I offer the following amendments. Calendar number 451, Senate print 6919, and as that said, uh, print retains place in the third reading calendar. So ordered. At this time, could we have the non-controversial reading of the calendar, please. Secretary will read. Calendar 125, by member of the Assembly Magnarelli, Assembly Print 8320B, an act on the road property tax law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect January 1, 2015. Call the roll. Adabo, De Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 57. The bill is passed. Calendar number 140 by Senator Ball, Senate Print 2655A, enact amend the military law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, De Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Announce the result. In relation to calendar 140, those recorded in the negative are Senators DeFrancisco, Giannaris, Hassel Thompson, Montgomery, Parker, Ranzenhofer, and Rivera. The Ayes 50, nays 7. The bill is passed. Calendar number 173 by Senator Golden, Senate Print 3584, an act to amend the multiple dwellings law. Read the last section. Section 2 of this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, DeFrancisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousin, Zeldin.
Announce the result. Relation to calendar 173, those recorded in the negative are Senator Zavella, DeFrancisco, Hassel Thompson, Hoyleman, Montgomery, Perkins, Rivera, Sanders, Serrano, Stavisky, Stewart Cousins, and Katchik. Ayes 46 and ayes 12. The bill is passed. Calendar number 223 by Senator Stewart Cousins, Senate Print 6313, an act to amend the local finance law. There's a home rule message at the desk. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58. The bill is passed. Okay, that's all right. Announce the result. Ayes 57, nays 1, Senator Ball, recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 227 by Senator Mazier, Senate Print 6521, an act authorizing. There's a home rule message at the desk. Read the last section. Section 5, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 57, nays 1, Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 229 by Senator Zeldin, Senate Print 6581, an act granting. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 56, nays 2, Senators Bonasek and O'Mara recorded the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 231 by Senator Little, Senate Print 6649, an act amend the town law. There's a home rule message at the desk. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58. The bill is passed. Calendar number 240 by Senator Seward, Senate Print 6505A, an act amend the insurance law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58. The bill is passed. Calendar number 252 by Senator Ritchie, Senate Print 6693B, an act amend the agriculture and markets law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58. The bill is passed. Calendar number 316 by member of the Assembly of the Vene, Assembly Print 9001, an act to amend Chapter 405 of the Laws of 2013. Laid aside. Calendar number 318 by Senator Martin, Senate Print 6754, an act to authorize. Read the last section. Section 2, this act will take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 56, nays 2, Senators Bonasek and O'Mara recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 344 by Senator Ranzenhofer, Senate Print 1862, an act, an act to amend the elder law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 353 by Senator Parker, Senate Print 951A, an act to amend the penal law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect on the 1st of November. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Montgomery recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 387 by Senator Larkin, Senate Print 274B, an act amend the retirement and Social Security law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 392 by Senator Grisanti, Senate Print 292, an Call act amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 57, nays 2, Senators Perkins and Serrano recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 393 by Senator Bonasek, Senate Print 2039, Act Amend the Environmental Conservation Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skello, Stewart Cousin, Zeldin.
Announce the result. In relation to calendar 393, those recorded in the negative are Senators Gibson, Hoyleman, Kennedy, Kruger, Perkins, and Serrano. Ayes 53, nays 6. The bill is passed. Calendar number 399 by member of the Assembly, Nolan. Assembly print 9062A, an act amend the education law. Read the last section. Section 2 this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Livis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 404 by Senator Bonasek, Senate print 1888A, an act amend the vehicle and traffic law. Read the Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 406 by Senator D. Francisco, Senate Print 2311, an act amend the vehicle and traffic law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect on the 30th day. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 409 by Senator Martin, Senator Print 4786A, an act amend the vehicle and traffic law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect on the 60th day. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skelos, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 410 by Senator Gibson, Senator Print 6422, an act amend the highway law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Senator Gibson to explain his vote. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to thank Senator Larkin and for his partnership in moving this bill forward. And I'd like to thank my colleagues for supporting it as well. This bill would dedicate a portion of State Route 9 in the city of Poughkeepsie as the Detective John M. Falcone Memorial Highway. Detective Falcone was an 18-year veteran of the city of Poughkeepsie where he served with distinction for nearly half of his life to protect the people of the city of Poughkeepsie. On February 18, 2011, Detective Falcone lost his life in the line of duty while freeing a three-year-old girl from her armed father after he had killed his wife, the young girl's mother, Jessica Welch. This memorial should serve as a constant reminder of Detective Falcone's legacy of heroic service, inspiring courage and commitment to justice. We must also be reminded of the mother, Jessica, who lost her life during this tragic incident and those who continue to fall victim to a vicious cycle of domestic violence. Let it serve as a reminder to this body that we must do all in our power as legislators and as a state to bring an end to domestic violence and continue to support our brave first responders who every day dedicate their lives to keeping our community safe. I will be voting yes. Thank you, Senator Gibson. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 414 by Senator Nazolio, Senate Print 1850B, an act amend the penal law. Read the last section. Lay it aside. Calendar number 417 by Senator DeFrancisco, Senate Print 4512A, an act amend the real property tax law. Read the last section. Section 2 of this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, DeFrancisco, Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 419 by Senator Marchone, Senate Print 6305, an act amend the environmental conservation law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 423 by member of the Assembly Steck, Assembly Print 9075, and act amend the civil practice law and rules. Read the last section. Section 2 is asked to take effect on the 1st of January. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 430 by Senator Carlucci, Senate Print 3866, and act amend the civil rights law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco, Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed.
Gallon number 435 by Senator Larkin, Senate Print 266A, an act amend the education law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act to take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Gallon number 445 by Senator Klein, Senate Print 6579A, an act amend the local finance law. Read the last section. Laid aside. Bill is, the bill is laid aside for the day. Gallon number 446 by Senator Gallivan, Senate Print 6687, an act to amend the local finance law. There is a home rule message at the desk. Secretary will read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Livis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1. Senator Ball recorded in the negative. Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Gallon number 452 by Senator Ranzenhoff for Senate Print 6977, an act amend Chapter 629 of the Laws of 2005. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Livis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1. Senator Ball recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Gallon number 453 by Member of the Assembly Magnarelli, Assembly Print 9032. An act to amend Chapter 581 of the Laws of 2005. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 454 by Senator Gallivan, Senate Print 5403, an act to amend the Public Service Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 457 by Senator Maziar, Senate Print 6969, Act to Amend the Public Authorities Law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 463 by Senator Ball, Senate Print 2292, and Act to Amend the Penal Law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect on the 1st of November. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. <clears throat> Calendar number 475 by Senator D. Francisco, Senate Print 339, an act to amend the navigation law. Read the last section. Section 4, this act should take effect on the 1st of November. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 476 by Senator Marcelino, Senate Print 1504, an act to amend the navigation law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 480 by Senator Little, Senate Print 6654, an act to amend Chapter 138 of the Laws of 1998. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 483 by Senator Flanagan, Senate Print 1452, an act to amend the corrections law. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect on the 1st of November. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Perkins recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Calendar number 484 by Senator Savino, Senate Print 5342, an act to amend the corrections law. Read the last section. Section 3, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 58, nays 1, Senator Montgomery recorded in the negative. The bill is passed. Gallon number 485 by Senator Gallivan, Senate Print 6954, an act amend Chapter 573 of the Laws of 2011. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo D. Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Stuart Cousins, Zeldin. Senator Hoyleman to explain his vote. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise um, to express my objection to this bill, uh, which, as you know, extends the provisions authorizing local correctional facilities to enter into agreements to take custody of out-of-state inmates. Now, I know we value tourism and hospitality here in New York State, but um, I think this goes too far. Uh, and essentially, you could say, creates what might be uh, Air Airbnb for out-of-state inmates. Uh, 
Our criminal justice system, Mr. President, shouldn't be mined for revenue. Uh, I think our focus needs to be on prisoner rehabilitation, uh, addressing factors that lead to recidivism, and taking care of our own first. And at a time, Mr. President, when our prison system, because of closings and consolidation, is already becoming overcrowded, uh, I think we need to seriously reconsider a policy that invites more out-of-state inmates in New York. Uh, simply put, adding out-of-state inmates in New York puts correctional officers at risk, other inmates, and the citizens of New York. I'll be voting no. Thank you, Senator Hoylman. Announce the result. Relation to calendar 485, those recorded the negative are Senators Hoylman, Kruger, Perkins, Sanders, and Squadron. Ayes 54, nays 5. The bill is passed. Also, Senator Rivera. The bill is passed. Ayes, ayes 53, Serrano. nays. And Serrano. announce the result. Oh. Relation to calendar 485, those recorded the negative are Senators Hoylman, Kruger, Perkins, Rivera, Sanders, Serrano, and Squadron. Ayes 52, nays 7. The bill is passed. Senator Libis, that completes the non controversial reading of the calendar. Secretary will ring the bell. Secretary will read. Calendar number 316 by memory of Assembly of Vene, Assembly Print 9001, Enact Amend Chapter 405 of the Laws of 2013. Read the last section. Oh, Senator Squadron. Explanation is requested. Senator Martins to give an explanation. President, um, last year we received a request from the village of Roslyn that had purchased a parcel um, to use as a, as a street. They asked that we authorize the village to seek an exemption from pr paying property taxes on that property. We passed that bill last year. Um, it passed this chamber 59 to 3. Um, it passed the assembly and it was chaptered as chapter 405 of 2013. Subsequently, we found that um, there was a mistake made with respect to the year. Uh, the village reached back to us and asked that we make an amendment to include 12 and 13. That is the 12-13 year. And uh, we've introduced the bill once again to make that amendment. Um, I, I'm happy to say, Mr. President, that it passed the assembly um, almost unanimously on April 30th of this year, uh, carried by our colleague, Assemblyman Levine. And I'm asking uh, this chamber to do the same today. Thank you. <laughs> the sponsor would yield. Sponsor yields. Absolutely. Just to understand, this is an additional year. Um, uh, this adds a, a year onto the bill that was chaptered previously. Mr. President, through you, it does add an, year, a, an additional year. Um, it, it actually changes the, the year from 1314, substituting 1213 in its stead. Uh, but to the extent that the village owned the property for both fiscal years, um, this would add that additional year, yes. Senator Squadron. And sponsor to yield for a final question. Of course. Thank is, you. Senator was a, Yields. Was it a clerical error? What, what was the error that led to the need for this cleanup? Mr. President, Senator it, it, was, it was purely a clerical error, and I think everyone in the body would agree, everyone here would agree that the last thing we want to do is to have a municipality being taxed on property it owns, thereby taxing its own taxpayers in order to pay a tax to the county. Uh, that's what we're avoiding here. And um, it is a clerical error, and this bill would clarify that. Thank Senator you. Squadron. Thank you. On the bill. Mr. Senator Squadron, on the bill. I, I thank uh, the sponsor for the explanation. I plan to vote in favor of the bill. I do want to point out, though, that I, I think it's, it's ironic um, that we've had this bill essentially appear before us twice in the first instance with errors, 
um, sort of bill that gets consideration in this House when a lot of a, a whole lot more critical issues never get consideration, never get conversation in this House. I've spoken about my bill to ban 50 caliber, uh, many 50 caliber weapons, which are incredibly dangerous weapons, highly militarized. That is not getting a vote. In fact, a whole bunch of parliamentary jujitsu was done to avoid a vote on that issue. I think I appreciate the sponsor is pushing this bill for uh, his constituents and his district, and I have a belief that we should support those things. I also have a belief that partisan, uh, 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 partisan membership or being a member of the majority or not should not be the only way by which you can get a fair hearing on bills in this House. I wish we had a chance to discuss the 50 caliber bill directly. I appreciate the sponsor for describing this bill briefly, and I will vote in the affirmative. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Squadron. Are there any other members wishing to be heard on the bill? Seeing none, the debate is closed. The secretary will ring the bell. Secretary will read. Read the last section. Section 2, this act should take effect immediately. Call the roll. Adabo de Francisco Klein, Libis Skelis, Tura Cousin Zeldin. Announce the result. Ayes 59. The bill is passed. Calendar number 414 by Senator Nazolio, Senate Print 1850B, an act amend the penal law. Senator Squadron. On the bill, Mr. President. Senator Squadron, on the bill. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to speak on this bill, and um, certainly uh, when this went through the Codes Committee, my interest was, was piqued by this bill. It claims in title to um, deal with what, an issue that I think is one of the absolutely most important issues we can deal with in this House, which is cracking down on domestic violence. In fact, it's uh, an issue uh, on which I carried legislation for a great deal of time to uh, crack down on repeat domestic violence offenders. One of the uh, absolutely uh, most damaging ways of uh, uh, acting, not just in your family, but for an entire community. The bill that I carried um, uh, said that repeat domestic violence offenders wouldn't be able to just cycle through the system until they seriously injured or killed a victim, but that you would actually have uh, felonies uh, after repeat offenses in order to crack down on this and keep these folks uh, Una uh, unable to do harm. It is one of the rare issues. I think we also see it with driving under the influence where Republicans and Democrats, upstate and downstate, can come together to say uh, penalties are uh, one of the critical parts of cracking down on the issue. In fact, that bill ended up becoming law thanks to the leadership of Governor Cuomo as part of a comprehensive domestic violence bill that was sponsored 
by Senator Saland, a Republican in this House, and Assemblymember Lentall, a Democrat in the Assembly. So cracking down on repeat domestic violence is an issue that is near and dear to my heart and critically important. Unfortunately, that's not what this bill does. Uh, excuse me, can we keep it down while Senator Squadron has the floor? Thank you. Senator Squadron, continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator Levis. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what this bill does. Uh, what this bill does is it creates an extensive and expensive uh, uh, database for a huge number of offenses, um, many of which have no connection at all to domestic violence, and um, increases penalties around that list of offenses. It is a bill that is not targeted to its intended goal. I don't think it would have a particular impact on the intended goal because it doesn't identify the domestic violence offender in particular or the domestic violence offense as a piece of uh, uh, being drawn in to the more serious crime and penalty. Uh, I think it's disappointing and unfortunate to see uh, uh, the bill do this when its title and description suggest such an important issue and one that I think I'm proud that we have helped to crack down on in a bipartisan way with the leadership of uh, Republicans and Democrats in this House and the other House, a Democratic governor downstairs. And uh, I just want to be clear, as I vote in opposition to this bill, that if it did what it said it was meant to do, it would be a very different issue. Cracking down and repeat domestic violence offenders is about as important an issue as you can man uh, uh, imagine. This bill, on the other hand, goes after anything that's categorized as a violent felony offense, burglary, robbery, uh, aggravated unpermitted use of indoor pyrot pyrotechnics, I guess that's fireworks, falsely reporting an incident, all bad behaviors. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, and criminal sale of a firearm. So interestingly, this bill does touch on cracking down on unsafe use of weapons and guns, but it does it indirectly, uh, and of course doesn't do it in the way that uh, groups, community groups, public safety groups across the state and this country have said is the most important, or just about the most important way we can do it this year in this House, which is to crack down on 50 caliber weapons. Those weapons that can kill at distances of nearly a mile, those weapons that have no purpose for hunting, no purpose for self-defense, and uh, it is a shame that yet again we have a bill um, spraying a very broad array of penalties uh, with a stated goal of great value, but uh, an actual mechanics that just don't get there and, of course, continue to do nothing about the scourge of gun violence in communities across the state. So it is with a heavy heart that I will vote no on this bill in hopes of uh, seeing a bill that really does crack down on the kind of uh, horrible, heinous acts that the sponsor talks about in the memo. I'll vote no, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Squadron. Are there other members wishing to be heard on the bill? Seeing none, the debate is closed. The secretary will ring the bell.
Read the last section. Section 4, this act should take effect on the 180th day. Call the roll. Adabo, D. Francisco yep. Klein, Libis, Skell, Stewart, Cousins, Zeldin. Senator Nozzolio to explain his vote. <laughs> Senator Nozzolio. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, earlier today we celebrated a very joyous occasion for one of our members, the birth of a grandchild. The person whose name is attached to this bill is Brittany Pasolacqua, a granddaughter. And the grandmother, Dale Driscoll, on one fateful afternoon had her daughter and granddaughter murdered by a perpetrator of domestic violence. That perpetrator of domestic violence had no record of domestic violence, but had a record of violence a mile long. And that's what this measure is designed to prevent, domestic violence victims. We all are certainly supportive of issues that help domestic violence victims, further orders of protection, trying to beef up the criminal laws, trying to establish additional sanctions against those who have committed domestic violence. But there is not enough done to prevent domestic violence in the very first instance, Mr. President. We believe this registry helps those individuals understand the type of person that they're associating with. If Brittany's mom had only known that the person bringing in, coming into their home had a history, a long history, a sad history of, of violent acts, this uh, measure uh, may not have had to have been named after Brittany in the sense that she would still be alive today. Uh, that's why, Mr. President, we've uh, established this legislation. That's why uh, I appreciate my colleagues uh, who are voting in favor of it and that uh, certainly it's an effort that we need to do as much as we can to prevent domestic violence victims from happening in the first instance. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Zolio to be recorded in the affirmative. Other members wishing to explain their vote? Seeing none, the Secretary will announce the result. Ration calendar 414, those recorded in the negative are Senators Kruger, Montgomery, Perkins, Serrano, and Squadron. Ayes 54, nays 5. The bill is passed. Senator Libis, that completes the controversial reading of the calendar. Mr. President, is there any further business at the desk? There's no further business at the desk. There being no further business, I move that the Senate adjourn until Tuesday, May 13th at 3 p.m. On motion, the Senate stands adjourned until Tuesday, May 13th at 3 p.m.